Hello, this is Julie at Julie Loses, and thank you for tuning in to another installment of my online video diary. Uh, it is Wednesday, June something, like 11th or something. I don't know. What time is it? What day is it? It's the 11th. <laughs> Good guess. Um, yesterday, I had a weigh-in, which is my weekly Tuesday weigh-in, and um, I was down 0.2 pounds from last week, so it was a banner week. Uh, I went from uh, 194.2 to 194 flat. And uh, I was, you know, a little disappointed, but not totally surprised. Uh, my eating this last week has been a little, um, I would say on the edge of being out of control with certain things, uh, particularly uh, strawberries with True Whip were um, kind of a bad thing because I was going through just a pack of organic strawberries almost every day and then having them with, you know, more than a single serving of True Whip every time. And in some cases, six servings of True Whip. Um, so, uh, I have, I'd also been eating a lot of frozen yogurt, and I think it was serving to make me more hungry, eating those, like, higher sugar, carby things. Um, I was feeling myself hungrier more often, less satisfied with my meals, and I think I made poorer decisions, so I've tried to scale things back a little bit. I went to the store Monday and refused to purchase strawberries. I know strawberries are good, but I don't eat strawberries plain. I, they're a little too tart for me at this point in the season. Um, I need a little bit of that True Whip um, cream to, to sweeten it up for me. And if you have any suggestions for uh, how to get those berries in uh, without you know, dealing with the tartness issues that I have, I'm all for hearing those because I would love to get the berries in some way, um, but I I think I was, I was getting a little too undisciplined with my serving sizes of True Whip. So um, yeah, I had to put the kibosh on, on some of the sweets. However, I did have Froyo yesterday. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I had gone, <clears throat> well yesterday was my last 2020 dietitian appointment uh, with my dietitian Erica and we did a weigh in and I actually didn't even look at the scale and she never told me what that final weigh in was, I realized. But I, I know what I weigh, you know, I it's not a surprise to me. I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering kind of if I dropped down into the 193s on their scale after, you know, I had eaten my breakfast and done all my business and stuff like that. But um, I, I digress. So we had um, our final meeting and I was really hungry by the time I got there. Our, our appointment was at 1 o'clock. And so after we weighed in, I asked if we could go downstairs and have our our meeting in the bistro, the little um, lunch room that they have there at the gym. And she said, sure. Uh, it wasn't until I was starting to scarf down the pizza that I ordered <laughs> that I realized it's kind of a weird experience to be eating in front of your dietitian. I mean, you know, it could be worse. It could have been like fast food or something really bad, but it was a sanctioned meal that the 2020 Lifestyles program offers to its clients. Um, so I didn't feel too bad, but it was still kind of weird having her sit across from me and me like eating this pizza just as fast as I could put it down. Uh, so we got a good laugh about that, but it was a really nice final visit. Um, I will see her again uh, when I get to, I know as I drop more weight or as I get more active or as things change, I'm probably going to need to tweak um, how I'm doing things and if I hit a wall or something like that I'll of course attend to her as well and uh, she said some very nice things to me at the end of our appointment and I promised that I would check in with her once I got all my final assessment information uh, at the end of June or the beginning of July I don't know when the assessments gonna take place but um, 
So it was a little bittersweet uh, to have that final appointment, but um, I am I am kind of pumped to be doing this sort of on my own from a food standpoint. I have a lot of support around me, so I'm not alone. But um, I'm just I'm just really curious to see how I do without that little extra biweekly accountability. Um, I know I have my fitness pal. So I'm taking my tracking. Um, I had done exclusively all my tracking on the 2020 Lifestyles online food tracker, which is a tracker that is offered free to the public if you are interested. Uh, however, I have to say that it is not my favorite food tracker. There are some caveats to it. Uh, there are some features that it does not contain that other trackers do much better. So I'm switching back over to my fitness pal to do all of my food tracking. So if you are a my fitness pal friend of mine or you want to become a my fitness pal friend of mine, I have a link in the description below and uh, you can friend me there. If you don't see daily, you know, Weez Girl has completed her uh, food diary and is under her calorie goal or whatever it would be, start nagging me because that means I'm I'm falling by the wayside now I am on the west coast of the US so you will by the end of the day I will you know once I eat my final meal I will hit the submit um, I think at the worst case it would be like the next day that I would update something from the last night but if you don't see those you know I wanna see I wanna see you guys get naggy on me because <laughs> I need I don't think it's going to be a problem. I think I'm going to do pretty well. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited because I have more tea. Ah. I was without tea for probably like five or six days. I ran out of my favorite tea, which is the Harney and Sons Hot Cinnamon Spice Tea. I've said it a million times before, but I'll keep saying it. It is my absolute favorite tea that I have ever tried so far on this planet. And um, not that I've tried a whole lot of teas, but this one is just leaps and bound, bounds better than anything I have ever had. I was out of it, and so I was not drinking tea, or the tea I was drinking was not really hitting the spot. So I did start to have some caffeine withdrawals. Um, I did start to have um, a little bit of headachey days. Um, and it didn't occur to me until I realized, hey, you know, I haven't, I didn't have any caffeine the last two days, and maybe that's why I have a little headache going on. And um, I, of course, hate the fact that I'm having these physiological responses to withdrawals from caffeine because that means, God, I, I have a reliance on it now. But it's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, I drink one to two cups of tea a day. Um, some days I'll go over, but that's, that's about it. It's, I've read a lot of articles about caffeine and what's bad about it and what's good about it and what are tolerable levels of caffeine consumption. And I am way low on the tolerable levels. I mean, I think they said something like eight cups of tea a day is kind of where you want to cap out and I'm nowhere near that. So, um, but it does get me going. I think we can tell right now. I've had like half a cup and I'm like pew 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 pew. It's really too bad that I don't have Final Cut Pro and I'm not editing these because that was a little embarrassing. Anyway, um, yeah, so I had my last uh, dietitian appointment and that went well, it was sad, but went well. Uh, after that, I. I went to, let's see, I went to Lane Bryant and I had these real woman dollars, which is when you buy stuff from them within a certain period of time. For every like dollar you spend or every $50 you spend or something, they give you these little coupons that are good for $25 off every $50 you spend for a future time period. So the ones I got, I got like seven or eight of them from a purchase like a few months back. And I, uh, yeah, you get you know, $25 every $50 spent. So I went yesterday because the period just started on Monday that I could use them. 
and I was going to buy the whole store. I wanted to buy everything, but they didn't really have a whole lot of stuff that looked interesting. Uh, so basically I just bought things that I had purchased before, either in smaller sizes or just extra copies. So they were these capris that I had in a size 16 from a, a month or two back. And so I found those in a couple different colors. I also found that I fit into the size 14s now. So I, I got some smaller ones. I was originally just going to get the 16s because they still fit, you know, pretty snug. Uh, they're not loose by any means. Uh, and then I thought, well, maybe, you know, if I'm, I don't like to go shopping a whole lot, I, or I haven't classically, so I was thinking, you know, maybe I should buy a pair of the 14s just to, like, have on hand for when I get smaller. Um, and then I tried them on and they fit, so there was that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've spent about an hour or two there trying on different things. Um, I think I took a photo of myself. I will link it below. Uh, I have... I posted the photo on Facebook of some scenes from the day, including, you know, me eating that pizza in front of my dietitian, uh, you know, a happy selfie in the dressing room, which is, I should probably find the, one of the uh, times that I, before I started this whole w recent weight loss thing, I had gone to Lane Bryant to look for some clothes because I needed some clothes. I don't know why, but... You know, I must have needed clothes because I didn't go shopping unless I was completely out of clothes. But I found these pictures of myself sitting in the dressing room red-faced because I had been crying. And I was so depressed and disappointed and disillusioned and disenfranchised. All these dis words. I was just, I was just feeling so bad because I could not find anything that fit me properly that fit me at all flattering and it was it was a really disheartening experience it's another dis word um and there was such a difference between then and now I mean now I'm like feeling like ooh, look at me I, I you know I really look nice in this shirt and this cardigan um and before it was like these jeans there's just I just hate this hate this. So um, that was a positive experience. I only spent about $150 and I got probably $250 worth of clothing and some of it was on sale. So I did pretty well. Um, I'm eager to buy more stuff. I really need some more shirts and they didn't really have much in the way of shirts. I have a lot of those stripey shirts now. So if you see me wearing those all the time, it's not that I'm wearing the same shirt. It's that I have like, you know, 12 pairs of that shirt at this point. Pairs of shirts? No. I just have, you know, I have multiple, um, multiples of the same type of clothing. Anyway, um, after that, I decided that I needed to get some exercise in, and I was in an area that was close to Marymore Park, which is a fairly large east side of Seattle suburban sprawling park. And with lots of little walking paths and a dog park and I decided to get a walk in there um, nothing too crazy I ended up walking about three and a third miles uh, walked in it was really not gorgeous weather um, to begin with it was kind of overcast but not raining it was just cool so it was really good walking weather and I went down and went to their you know renowned dog park to check it out um, to see if it would be appropriate to bring Benny and I don't think it would be his thing but it was it was definitely there was a lot of walking uh, that I could do and by the time I got back I was hungry I had not brought any snacks with me and I had parked right next to the Froyo place so you know I'm gonna get some Froyo sure it's got some sugar in it but it doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup and it's got a little bit of protein you know milk protein so um I ate that you know I tracked everything and then I drove home picked up the dog and uh got myself some dinner uh shortly thereafter so um my 
my quest to remove sugary things from my diet didn't go perfectly yesterday, but I did not, um, I did not go overboard on anything. I was right in line with all my macros and, um, I felt good about the days at the day's completion. And, um, uh, I'm just going to be watchful of my sugar and I never really got any analysis on what was a good amount grams wise of sugar per day that I should be going for. It was always like, um, you know, try to have less and, but there was, I like to have numbers. I, I love knowing that I should be having between 110 and 100, 114 grams of, uh, protein per day and I should max out at 130 carbs per day and I should try to get at least 25 grams of fiber per day and I need to have at least 30 grams of fat per day and I like having these numbers they comfort me and not knowing the number target for sugar uh, has it's just been one of those things that I hadn't really been thinking about it and now that I am thinking about it I'm thinking about wow I wish I were more empowered with this number, but um, I'm just going to have to go back to basics. Um, and again, I wouldn't be bothered by this at all if it weren't for the fact that I started seeing myself get a little undisciplined with the way I was scooping True Whip onto the strawberries. I mean, I used to do, I think, one serving of two tablespoons of True Whip Light is 11 grams of true of light. Now, 11 grams, sometimes I would have just 11 grams. Most of the time I would have 22 grams and that would be good for a serving. But then I found myself in itching, inching up slowly. I'd be like, oh, I'm, I got 25 in there. So let's go to 33. Okay. Oh, you know, I'm, I just want all of it today, so let's get up to 66. You know, the, I mean, when I got to 66, I was like, okay, okay, let's back it off here. <laughs> um, so, and I just started noticing that my, you know, the amount of strawberries I was having went from like having four or five ounces to seven, seven and a half ounces of strawberries. And um, again, the calorie values with that and the, even the fat, they weren't crazy, you know, they weren't off the charts. They were in line with a snack, but I found that it led to craving sugar in other ways. Um, I started wanting Froyo more often. Instead of doing frozen yogurt one or two times per week as a, a treat that was weather dependent, I was going like every other day and, and wondering what flavors that my favorite Froyo place had. Do, I wonder if they have this flavor. I wish there was some app I could check to see my local froze, frozen yogurt facilities, what flavors they had on tap. You know, that's, that's a little, it's a little ridiculous. So anyway, um, yeah, that's what I'm focusing on this week, trying to reduce the sugar, trying to get those calorie counts down. Over the weekend, I was a little high on my calories. We went out to lunch and I had like a cheeseburger again and fries and, you know, not that I'm, not that I'm feeling bad about that, but I want to be careful about that because I also had a cheeseburger the previous weekend. So I, I don't want to splurge that often. I want to keep these things at a reasonable level. I want to keep them like once a month or once every three weeks or something like that. I don't want it to turn into a, a something I do with regularity because then I know that, you know, that regularity will get even more regular <laughs> or at, at, at shorter and shorter intervals until regular means every day I'm having a cheeseburger. So these are, I'm just catching myself. I'm just starting to notice trends and trying to stay ahead of the game. So yeah, um, I, the 2.2 pound loss was, hmm, whatever. It is what it is. I'm not unhappy about it, but I'm not like proud of myself or anything. It's just, uh, we'll see what happens next week. That's the thing. Every day, every week is a new opportunity to like totally own on the weight loss thing. And 
I'm pretty happy with where I am right now. I, of course, want to get down lower. Uh, I want to be able to do things, you know, as I'm walking. I still notice that, like, okay, it's still kind of hard for me to walk. I still walk three and a half miles and come back and waddle a lot. And I want to get to a point where three and a half miles is like nothing. Like, I can just do that and walk and not worry about it. I can take 10,000 steps at a time and it doesn't phase me, but it does. And so I still have a ways to go. And I don't think it's unreasonable to expect that I could walk, you know, three to five miles without feeling pain. That's, that's what I want to get to. And I have my eyes on the prize. I have fitness goals. Getting lower in sizes is freaking fantastic and great, but what the real goal here for me, and I think I, I've read that people tend to be more successful with maintenance when they focus on their fitness and activity goals versus a size or weight goal. Um, and so I'm, that makes me really embrace the idea of setting fitness goals and setting, you know, long-term goals based on activities I want to try, you know. Uh, at the end of my dietitian appointment, I'm going to close with this. At the end of my dietitian appointment yesterday, uh, we filled out this little card that was asking me about what I thought my challenges were going to be, what if I, what was I going to do to um, face these challenges, things like that, um, where you know where my calories should be, that kind of stuff. And the last question was, what are you excited to accomplish? <clears throat> and I, I, I said, you know, I got it in my head recently that I really want to walk. I really want to go to Machu Picchu. And I want to take, like, at least part of the Inca Trail up to Machu Picchu. I don't want to go up Haina Picchu, which is, like, the very, very top of that, like, really narrow steep thing that only like 400 people a day can go up and is like terrifying because I'm afraid of heights but I want to be able to do all those steps up to like the the uh, overlook at least and um that's the kind of thing that is driving this you know while I may look you know feel like feel cuter and feel like I can fit into more things and feel like I'm able to express myself more um, through fashion. Um, it reminds me of Romy and Michelle a little bit. But um, the activities, being able to go on adventures that I didn't think were possible before, coming from a place where I was completely sedentary and walking from my bed down the hallway to the couch would tax my heart. The idea of going on a hike, a multi-day hike, and going to one of the seven wonders of the world is, that's what I want. That's, that's the reason I'm doing this, people. Because I want to be able to do the, have these life experiences. And uh, so she said that that was the best answer every, <laughs> anyone had ever given. That most of the answers people had given were they were excited to get into, like, skinny jeans. Or, you know, they wanted to, like walk a 5k or something which I think is a respectable thing but fitting into skinny jeans maybe maybe a little little less respectable of a reason but she said that I had the best answer and that she wanted photos from when I went so I don't have anything planned but I just got it in my head that that's something that I would want to do so maybe that's a thing maybe that's something I need to start planning I don't know um anyway Thank you for watching this. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you'll go ahead and leave a comment, I think I had mentioned a question about like, how do you incorporate fruits like strawberries? If if you have taste issues, like I have taste issues, are are there tricks that you use to to get that stuff in? I really need ideas for that because the True Whip, while it is a good option, right now it's maybe not the best option for me. So leave a comment. Uh, leave a link to your channel if you've got one or your blog if you're, you know, chronicling your own weight loss journey. Uh, please like this video. Uh, it, it makes me feel nice when I see that I have likes. 
If you're not already, please subscribe to this video or feel free to share a link with your friends who you think might be interested in watching my journey. And uh, I really appreciate you watching. It, um, every time I see that I have another view or another subscriber, uh, it just, it, it's very motivating. It, it really encourages me. Um, it's the narcissist part of me, I think. I just like that, you know, as much as I'm doing this for myself, I like that, um, I like sharing it with others and knowing that uh, others are, you know, getting anything out of this or even enjoying watching is, it makes me feel good. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll try to check back in uh, at least by next week, uh, hopefully more often than that. But uh, until next time, take care. Where is the stop? There it is.